Hey everyone, so today I am going to be testing the Beauty Bay Disney Colour Collection. This is the mini palette trio and then I also have two of the, what are they actually call Lip and cheek duos, I have two of them. So I know this isn't the entire collection, I know there's some like um, eyeshadow crowns, there's also like two more of these palettes, there's another one of these I think. I've just got these so I'm going to give them a go. If you haven't done so already then please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any further videos from me. And let's just get on with the video. So as you can see, I have already put my foundation and my concealer and also some cream bronzer on. And the reason I've only got to that point is because the next step is these lip and cheek duos. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do, just for the sake of the video, because I'm wiping this makeup off straight away, is I'm going to put one on one cheek and, the, and one on the other cheek. With the lips, I'll just do one, wipe it off and do the other. So... Yeah, let's give these a little open. So this is what they look like. You've got two. So one's, this side says lip, lip, cheek, cheek. I don't know which one I liked more. So this one is the Mad Hatter one. That's the cheek side. And the lip side just looks like this. And then, so this one's a bit more like a like an orangey brown. I will say the colours on this is actually quite true to colour. And then the cheek side of this one is very pink. It looks way, way bright, like... Does that look different how it did close up to you? Because that is how it looks in real life. But for some reason, close up seems darker. That's weird. And then the lip side is like this. Oh, by the way, the other one was... I just didn't say the name, did I? This one's Alice in Wonderland. These are massive for lips, don't you think? Oh, am I about to got the right one? They smell like, um... Like... <laughs> What is it? Like Nivea sun cream. Like, if you, has anyone ever had the Nivea, like, lip balm sun cream? I think it's either the one in the blue bottle, the bottle, I mean, or it's the one that's, like, the orange one, like, Sultan or something. Okay, I don't love this. My lips are so dry, are so dry right now, and this just emphasises it. Okay, I'm back. You might even be able to see my lips are a bit red now, because I've fully just scrubbed them, and actually... They were like a lot, a lot drier than I thought they were. So we're gonna try it one more time because I just, I do want to see. I want to give it a fair shot. It just, it looks the same. It's not necessarily that it's like gripping to dry parts. It looks a bit better. It does look better because my lips aren't like dry anymore. It's, t it's very patchy. But I do think if you put a lip liner under it, you'll be absolutely fine. I do have a little bit of a sneaky suspicion that this one's gonna be a bit better, only because it's a brighter colour so I'm assuming it might be a bit more opaque but it might be the exact same uh, it is similar but this one is more opaque you can, this one can this it's very similar but this one can get away with it more very very similar but because this one is a lot brighter it um it looks like it's it's a lot more of like an opaque colour so even though it does the same thing it looks a lot better. I have my Candy K lip liner. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the Mad Hat one on top of a lip liner to see if that works. Okay, that works That works a lot better, putting it on top of an eyeliner, a, a lip liner. Because the lip liner gives the opaqueness. We'll stick with that. Right, we're going to see how it feels just gripping it, but if not, I'm going to get my brush. I definitely feel like that's taking my makeup off. Mm. Is anyone else surprised at how pink this is? I don't know if this brush might be a bit less, not dense enough. I think, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh no, actually, I like this brush with it. It really like spreads out the colour nicely because it's fluffy. Wow, that's a lot more pink than I was expecting. I thought, in fact, that's the Mad Hatter one. That's not even the pink one. That's a lot pink, pinker than I thought. This is like a really, really lovely color. I really thought this was gonna be orange, more orange. I guess just for the sake of doing the same thing, I should probably try and swipe some of this one on this side. I'm just gonna use the same brush because it's kind of wiped some of it off anyway. I'm just gonna do a little. You definitely can, but I just don't think it's like, it's kind of scary, isn't it? 
it also is harder to blend if you do it like that. It's a lot easier to blend if you get it on your brush first. <sighs> oh my gosh. Definitely prefer the other one. But I don't know how they're going to look once I've powdered, so. They're really super easy to blend. Like, these are so good. If you want a really easy, like, stick blush to blend, go for these. I think this side's prettier than this side. I'm also a more warm blush person. Like, you know the Dior blush or the Kylie blush that went very viral, like the, the very cool pink one? That isn't my vibe of blush. Now, some people I know wouldn't actually touch this now, but I personally am going to put powder over my entire face because I have oily skin. I need to now go and do my everything up until eyes because I'm going to be doing eyes on camera, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just finished, like, everything else on my face. And honestly, the blusher just looks cute. I've not added any more blusher to my face. I've just added powder, bronzer, and highlight. So now we're on to the eyes. So I'm going to zoom you in a bit while I'm, while I'm here. I've got three. So... What my plan is, I think, is just to do two. Use two of the palettes, one on each eye, similarly to how I used one thing on each side. But just simply because I don't have three eyes. What's this one? Alice in Wonderland, which is this one. I'm very tempted by this. We've got Jungle Book. Again, I'm very tempted by this because it's very unique colours. And then we've got Dumbo. I think if I don't use one, it's probably going to be Dumbo. These are the three different palettes. I do think I really want to use Jungle Book because it's very like green and shades I've not really used. Ah, oh, but then I've just done a Wilderness palette video, the Wild Beauty Bay Wilderness palette. Um, but this is different, this is different. I think I'm gonna go for Alice in Wonderland. If you wanna see a video of me using Dumbo, just let me know, I can do that definitely. I'm debating, do I do like, I was thinking yellow in the inner corner, like not inner corner, but like front part. And then into the pink, purple, and then blue, maybe. So I get to use... I'm basically trying to use as many colours as I can. You've also got to bear in mind that there's no shimmers. So I'm doing it all matte, which is very different for me, actually. Because normally I don't put anything on my lid. I just use the crease, and then I put shimmer on the lid. Or we do yellow into purple into that colour. And then we put pink on the lid and blue under the lid. It's a very, like, limey yellow. I should probably put eye primer on because these aren't gonna hang on I'm gonna go get my eye primer so we're gonna go into Cheshire Cat Eyes which is that yellow and just put it at the front here it's not really picking up too strongly to be honest I think I might pack and then I don't know which color will look better under the eye blue if I put pink on the lid by the way these looks are gonna look really probably mismatchy because I'm trying to use every single shade in the palette because obviously I'm only able to use two out of three of the palettes so because I'm only using two out of the three I want to make the most out of the two that I'm using and try and use all of the colours in each um, or as many of the colours as I can does purple blend into yellow or am I going mad? it does doesn't it? or am I going really mad? these are the colours, the four I'm choosing between we're going to go into, well actually that could be quite handy because there's already some purple on this brush. So we'll use this brush and we'll go into the purple. We're just going for it. It might look really bad but we're just going to go for it. This is a MAC 217. If you mix yellow and purple, what colour does it make? Because my brain wants to tell me brown and now I've just got really scared. Right, you know what, I'm actually going to do that and then I'm going to blend them all out. And then I'm going to go into that burgundy. If we really pack it, it should be alright. Don't worry guys, this isn't blended yet. I'm just placing. I need a really blendy brush. I need to just get a brush to blend with. We're just going to grab the white, I need a fluffy brush than this, and we're going to just like smooth out the on top. We've nearly used every colour now. I'm just trying to like blend the on top out a little bit just to... I'm going to go back in with the colours, I just wanted to like blend it a bit just to smooth it out. Back in with the purple. 
So putting that lighter colour down means you've got something to like blend into. And then I have this brush that already has some blue on it. So I think I might try and use this. That blue. Oh, I didn't tell you what the colour names are. Though. This is, you've got Cheshire Cat Stripe. Oh, it just, Stripe Fur Face. Eyes, teeth, and tree. So we're going into tree. So I'm just gonna go under the eye. For the moment, just this bit. Darken that inner, that outer corner a little bit with the blue. And then get my purple brush. Not purple, the burgundy brush. And just blend that. I don't think, I think that could have been a mistake. To try and blend the blue into there. But we've done it now, so there's no going back. Now I need to get like a flat brush. I'm just gonna put the pink all over my lid and see what happens. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna like put it over and then we'll sort of decide whether it needs to be like cut crease or not. But I'm hoping I can just put, look how bright that is. <laughs> this is so random. It probably made, would have made more sense to cut crease it, but I feel like it's doing an okay job. Okay, back into the yellow. Just blend it a little bit. Because I do actually want it to blend together a tiny bit. And then purple. And then we are going to use that blue and put it the whole way along the bottom. Okay, that's that look. It's madness. And I just put the white in the inner corner, but... We're just going to leave it as. I'm not sure if with this palette I'm going to be able to do the same thing where I use every colour. Because I kind of want to do something different. I don't want to use yellow again because I've got yellow on this eye. So the pink into the bluey colour, into the other bluey colour, into the dark colour. And then the green under my eye and the yellow potentially over my lid. But maybe not. Um, again, I'm trying to use all the colours again. Logic would say use yellow, green and that colour like this 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 but then i'd miss out on the blues and the pinks so we're gonna start with the pink we're just gonna see how this goes once again so we're putting the pink on the inner corner for this one i actually think the blue potentially is slightly lighter than the pink but we'll just build it up it's fine because we've got two blues to work with ah, i didn't mean to go into the blue and then i'm just gonna use a random brush and go in with like li lilac-y blue color let's see i feel like this is gonna be quite light yeah, we're going to have to really try and build this up. I need to like pack it. There we go. That's actually cute. We like that colour. And because it's purple and blue, they should blend quite nicely. Okay, and then it's actually a lot quicker, this one. I'm going to use another random fluffy brush and I'm going to go into this blue. I don't like that brush. This br this blue seems to not be much different from the one before. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They're not like crazy different colours. Oh wait, no, it is a different colour when you actually blend them properly. I really like this light blue in the middle. It's cute. Let's go a little bit back into the purple. I wish that outer blue was a little bit darker, I can't lie. Because it isn't quite the level of darkness I would want. And going with the darker green. I'm just going to put that on the outer. Just because I didn't really get, to, I want to use it. So I'm putting it on the outer corner. Uh, yeah. I'm going to use another brush to use the green. Put that at the front section. It's actually a really nice coloured green underneath. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try and put that yellow over my lid. I don't know if it's going to be too pale, but we'll see. Yeah, it's a lot paler than the, obviously, than the pink on this eye.
but it actually does kind of work. All of these shades are more muted anyway. And then this looks messy right now, it's because I've not blended it. And then I go in to blend all the colours. There we go and then what i might do is i might get a little bit of the yellow and see if i can like stick that in my inner corner see if that works it might not but let's try kind of okay so this looks crazy but i'm now going to go off camera and i'm going to go and put some mascara on so we can see the finished look with mascara Okay, so this is the makeup now that I have my mascara on. I really like it. Like, I really, really enjoyed myself. It looks really funny looking at myself in the viewfinder because this side is really, like, muted and pale. And this side's, like, really bold. Um, but I think that's the fun of it. Obviously, I didn't do... I didn't use Dumbo. Nope, that's Jungle Book. I didn't use Dumbo. <laughs> which, had I done... I actually am kind of happy I didn't because I don't know how I would have done like every colour on my eye for this one. So yeah, that is me testing the Beauty Bay colour collection. Nope, the Beauty Bay Disney colour collection. Yes, that's the one. So if you did enjoy this video, then please sure to subscribe, like and comment. Let me know any ideas you have down below and I will see you tomorrow because I'm uploading every single day until Christmas Eve. Well, Christmas Day kind of. So yeah, bye.